Neil for T-Shares here, coming at you with another strategy for Tetra. Uh, today we'll be looking at the liquidity protocol and the LUSD stablecoin. And thanks to our good friend Red Squirrel, he's been kind enough to do a strategy for us. So let's take a look and see what that's all about. So as we look at the strategy in detail, what Red has for us, we see he's using four tokens. We have the Ethereum token, which is also the network we're on if you're new to cryptocurrency. With the Tetra token, which is the software which the that is running the strategy, as well as a token which we're in yield. We have the liquidity protocol and token, which is the lending protocol that, that you can uh, borrow uh, the LUSD stablecoin for Ethereum deposit. So let's take a look at the strategy in detail and see what Red has for us. Now, first of all, we're starting off with some Ethereum and we're going to deposit in our trove. Now, Liquidity has a minimum uh, loan amount of $2,000. So, if we look at uh, the strategy Red has for us, he has us taking loans at, and saying at a collateralization rate of 1,000%. That means we need about a little over $20,000 worth of Ethereum to make this a viable strategy. So, in this strategy, we are taking our, our, our loans and dividing the, the proceeds in three by three. So one third of the loan is going to purchase Ethereum to go back in our trove to help us stay collateralized. Uh, another third is going to buy liquidity tokens, which we'll talk about in a moment. And the last third is going to buy Tetra tokens. Now Tetra tokens it, uh, can earn yield from using the Tetra protocol. So if you stake your Tetra tokens, you can earn yield in the form of stable coins. And that in turn, can be redeposited back into uh, to buy more Tetra. And the other half of those stable coin yield can go into stability pool. So you can see you have a small loop within the greater strategy, always earning fees. Now, each of these steps take gas. And with Tetra, you can have these steps be gas efficient and only act and deploy when at the level you choose. Now, this liquidity token can be then staked into the liquidity staking pool. And that staking pool uh, receives Ethereum and LUSD as fees from redemptions. And then Ethereum can then be put back into the trove uh, to help with our collateralization rate. And the other, and the LUSD can be deployed based upon market conditions. So Tetra can then be programmed to take this LUSD and deploy it when the market uh, uh, as the market moves. So if the market's bullish, uh, maybe you want to buy some more liquidity tokens and put back in the staking pool to earn more fees. Because more and more people will be taking out loans that, during this time. When the market's moving sideways and it's kind of stable, maybe it's a good idea to take the LUSD and put in the stability pool to, to keep the health of the system up. If the market takes a downturn and the Ethereum price drops, well then you can use the, your fees to buy more Ethereum. To therefore go back into your trove to help with the collateralization rate. If we have a really bad downturn, let's say Ethereum goes down 80% or so, well then Tetra can automatically take any stability pool funds you deposited and redeploy them back into the trove to, to, to maintain your, your loan's collateralization rate, keeping you safe. So in all this, it takes time. And to, if you were trying to manage this type of strategy manually, you could never take a vacation you always be wondering what has the market happens, what if there's a uh, black swan event, what if, some, or what if some, anything else that uh, could cause the market to move. And you could either be missing out on gains or putting your assets at risk. But with Tetra, there's no worries. And with these, with this particular strategy, with this high collateralization rate, you should be safe no matter what. But if you were take collateralization rates at a lower level, well then you would want someone to manage that for you. And Tetra can do that. So uh, we appreciate Red Squirrel putting the strategy together for us and how it works. So I hope you see now that with this strategy and with using Tetra, that all this will take a lot of your plate. So you don't have to worry about trying to time the market, but allow Tetra to work and do and respond to the market conditions as you see fit. Well, hope you can see how valuable tool Tetra can be for all of us. These strategies become more and more complex as time goes on, especially once Pulse Chain launches. 
So, if you would, uh, please like, share, and subscribe to this video if you find the information helpful. I'd like to again thank Red Squirrel for his strategy, and if you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the uh, comment section below. If you have any requests for future strategies for us to feature uh, with different protocols, also leave them in the comments. Well, that's it for today, folks. Uh, this is Neil for T-Share signing off. Have a good day and take care. Bye-bye.